Ryan Little. <laughs>
So I've taken it out for a test drive. The engine pulls well, the gearbox feels good, the clutch feels good, the brakes feel good. Overall, it feels like a pretty solid car. The heater works. The heater works as well. There are one or two slight issues. So the handbrake doesn't really do anything. So I think it's been unclipped from the caliper or something like that. So the handbrake is down. I've got the car in gear. The temperature gauge, uh, gauge doesn't work either. So um, yeah, that will need to be addressed. So one or two little things that need to be sorted. But to be honest, for the price, I think I'm gonna to struggle to find something that's quite as track ready. And you know, it does pull quite well. And it is, you know, I, I get a sense very quickly, this is gonna be a very fun car. So yeah, I'm gonna take it around to the front, sign the paperwork, make the payment, and then we're, we will be off on our, on our journey back in this very wet, miserable um, north weather. But yeah, so I'm gonna sign off now. Do you know what we should do? Go on. Let your viewers suggest names for the car. Yes, this car needs a name. But it has to begin with F. Ideally, yeah, because obviously it, it's a Fiesta, so and F. I'll but tell you what we'll do. Go on. Anyone that suggests a name, we'll do a little video, like yeah. you can film me, we'll put it in a hat, and we'll do a little video of announce its new name. Yeah. So if anyone's got a suggestion, pop it in the comment box. Yeah. Or obviously message Aaron on his social media. And think of a name for him. Yeah. It's a him. So it has to be a him. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be a him. So give you a quick look and at the not interior. Felipe. You may have noticed there's some boost gauges. This car used to be supercharged, but it isn't anymore, just because uh, it's a bit too much power for this little thing. Apparently it's uh yeah, just a bit too much for it. But yeah, there we go. Yeah, so there we have it. Now, in case you're wondering, oh, the lighting's awful. Let me come around here. Is that any better? There we go. In case you're wondering, uh, Mad Max is being sold. So I've just realized throughout this whole video, that topic hasn't been addressed. I will try and do a separate video uh, on that, but sh uh, long story short, just want something that's a bit more suitable for track because Mad Max has got a welded diff, which is fine when it's dry, but when it's wet like this, on a track, it doesn't really work that well. So, uh, so yeah, he's now up for sale and this is his replacement. Um, yeah, so hopefully Mad Max sells quickly. I saw this come up and I thought this car looks really good. Um, I didn't want, want it to go. Like I said, there are one or two uh, teething issues, but they should be quite simple, th simple fixes. So yeah, uh, yeah, please think of the name of the car. Um, I'm hoping to do a track day either towards the end of this month or in March. Uh, actually, well, I say this month, uh, this video may not go out until March because I'm so busy at the moment. Uh, but yeah, today is the 2nd of February. So I'm gonna aim to do a track day, hopefully towards the end of February or in March. But until then, um, I'm gonna sign the paperwork because uh, I've, I've left Dan waiting quite some time because Patsy and I have, have spent a lot of time thinking about it, making sure we are happy. Um, so yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video guys please subscribe to dan's channel as well as you can see his sticker for his youtube channel is still on the bonnet and on the boot as well uh, yeah, check out his channel but yeah thank you so much for watching if you have liked this video uh, be sure to subscribe uh, hit the thumbs up and um, yeah until the next time guys be sure to keep up the car obsession